it me and my pile of summer garments uh, so this video is about summer garments or warm weather tops and t-shirts uh, knitted tops and t-shirts I've knitted basically all of these garments in the past four months the only garment I knitted last year was this one so all of these I've been knitting them uh, since February the beautiful colorful I love them so summer patterns summer garments are my favorite type of garment or project to knit on I think they're so nice you you after you finish knitting on a you know t-shirt or top you have still a statement piece but it's not like it doesn't take as long as knitting a full long sleeve sweater and I just I don't know I think that summer garments are absolutely fun to knit on and I'll not stop even if I have quite few piling up at the end of the episode I'll also talk about the giveaway winners uh, but you can check uh, the names uh, I'll, uh, I've written them in the description box in case you are interested to see them so let's start with my most knitted patterns and then we'll go to the least knitted patterns that does that make sense so the the patterns that i've been knitting the most um, is the RuPaul Bralette by Jessie Made. Those who have been here before know that that's my kind of to-go pattern when I have no idea what to knit. Um, and I probably knitted seven versions, seven RuPaul Bralettes by Jessie Made Designs. And these are the three that I own. The rest I have been gifting them. So I think that it's a pat the Ripple Bralette is a pattern that is absolutely just so delightful to knit on. It takes, it's just a very easy garment. The pattern is so well written, absolutely size inclusive. I love it. So this is the only kind of summer garment I knitted last year and I've been wearing it too much like to the point that now I feel a little bit like I shouldn't wear it so much anymore you know I don't know the the fabric is not it's holding up together but it feels a little bit old I don't know if that makes sense today I don't know if I'm explaining myself clearly but it's a beautiful beautiful top I really love the color I've been using it so much like mentioned it already and I this is knitted in 100% linen yarn by Borgo de Pazzi now I don't remember the name of the yarn but I think it's the only 100% linen yarn that they have I guess um, I don't know if I absolutely like this yarn because it feels more like cotton for some reason um, even if they wrote 100% linen the, the, the feeling is like cotton maybe there is some linen cotton content and they didn't write it no that that wouldn't be possible I guess I don't know but I feel now that I've been knitting with linen fibers and I have some garments to show you that are 100% linen this feels a little bit too it's like soft and dry at the same time linen I know is very dry and kind of like fibrous this is not fibrous does that make sense I love the color I love the fit absolutely beautiful I don't know this yarn is kind of like 5.5 out of 10 yes that's what I would give it but I've been using it like too much maybe that's also the reason why it's um, 
looking a bit, I don't know, maybe on camera you, you can't really see it, but it's peeling a lot, it's like, I don't know. Okay, so that that's one version. I'm gonna show you the different versions of, because the, the beauty of this pattern and the beauty of the patterns that I've been knitting multiple times is the fact that you can knit on them with different type of yarn weights and different type of fibers. And you will have different type of feelings and results. So here I have, uh, this is probably my most recent finished type of ripple bralette. Uh, I've modified it a bit. This is what I do with many garments, uh, but it's still similar looking. Uh, this, I've knitted it with two type of yarns. Um, this is Laine du Nord, the organic cotton at the base of this bralette. And then here is held together with Hanna by Borgo de Pazzi, which is a Leo cell based yarn to get, kind of give it a bit more coverage and thickness. This, I've been using it so much as well these days. I forgot to mention, I used Ripple Bralette as a bra, as an undergarment, and also as a normal, you know, sleeveless top. I, that's the thing that I grab in the morning every time I want to, you know, put something on like a dress or anything and I need a bra, I pick this. Uh, I don't like, bras in general they kind of squeeze my ladies <laughs> and uh, regardless the type of bra is i don't i'm not a fan of bras i like to be braless but sometimes it's nice to have some some coverage you know and to protect our treasures <laughs> this is another version with a cotton and leo cell yarn then we have a more this is not really summer garment i wouldn't consider it like a summer garment this it's knitted with um, an alpaca and wool blend yarn and i absolutely love this i wore it so much i've been wearing this all the time under my garments and I love it. Uh, the yarn was a fingering way yarn and I think I used needle size 3.5 and I just love it. I This I really like it. I wear it so much. It is one of those patterns that I, if I don't know what to knit, if I find a beautiful piece, a beautiful yarn in a store and I don't have a specific pattern in mind, I always think, well, this will make a nice ripple bralette. So it's, yeah, it's one of those patterns that I really like. And I, now I'm knitting another one um, because this, I'm gonna use it very little, I think, or maybe in the garden and stuff like that. And I want a brighter, more like summery, fun color version. So I'm knitting with that. I think that the Ripple Bralette knitted, I think that if you knit this pattern with a sock yarn, it's super fun. That's kind of my conclusion these days. Okay, let's go into uh, the second most knitted pattern. I feel that I'll re I will repeat myself a lot. You've seen, if you've been here before, you've seen my most of these garments, I would say, and maybe all of them even, um, and you, you've heard me mentioning this pattern, which is the ranunculus. So here we have ranunculus pattern by Midori Hairose or Knit Cafe Midori. Uh, this is another of those patterns that is, for me, it's absolutely amazing to knit on because you can use very different type of yarns. 
uh, like fingering, DKs, you could sport wear, it doesn't matter, maybe not bulky, but you know, you can use lace wear yarn to knit on this pattern, just is absolutely very versatile, I would say, a versatile pattern, if that makes sense. Um, here you will, I'll show you the, the different versions with different type of yarns. So this was my first ever knitted ranunculus. And this is, I would say it's more like an autumn, early spring type of garment because it's knitted with mohair and wool and silk yarn. Um, I usually don't really like marble garments, uh, but this, I really like it. I've knitted it with Isager Tweed in color winter grey and it has that yarn as wool and mohair and it has some tweedy let's see if you can see and uh, I've held it together with a silk yarn which is the white thread that you can see here I really like this, I've been wearing it a lot, especially when it was super cold under a sweater or even on top a long sleeve garment. It's, it's very beautiful, I think it fits me really well. I've done some modification, I've done this kind of split hem. I don't know if I like it super much, but fits really well and it's it's beautiful, it's my first ranunculus, very happy with it. And this I think I finished it in January, like the end of January, beginning of February. Uh, okay, another version of the ranunculus, this is the least modified version. So it's the closest to the pattern type of version, if that makes sense. Here I need to weave in the ends. So this is a more, airy like lightweight version of the ranunculus i absolutely love this one um it's so light and so dreamy and drapey i really like it um the yoke of the ranunculus i think is super nice and cute i've knitted it this kind of super short sleeve version and uh, I've used, I've held together two yarns. One is a cotton and a mohair yarn, and one is the Leo Cell Hanna by Borgo de Pazzi. You can see the fluff that halo is from the mohair. So I've used, I think. No, this was another, this is the same yarn, but it's another color. I've used this yarn and the other Leo Cell based yarn. And this is the mohair and cotton yarn. Mohair, cotton and Leo Cell ranunculus version. I've been experimenting, let's say, holding different type of fibers together. But yeah, that's the type of yarn I used. I don't know if they still produce it. I bought it in a website. I link it down below called woolly yarn.com. I'll link it down below. Maybe they still have it. Um, latest version of the ranunculus. This is a very summer garment. I mean, these two as well. I would consider them maybe this a little bit less, but. This is also very summerish, um, but this is made with mm, a very affordable uh, plant-based yarn, Boumoulin by Drops Designs. And this is the color 05, I, 05, I think, and it's a, it's a linen and cotton blend absolutely stunning i've been wearing it so much these days 
Um, you can see me wearing it in the previous podcast episode. Very beautiful. I really like it. Maybe it's a tiny bit too cropped, but I love cropped tops. So that's all right. Uh, yeah. And oh, by the way, this is a heavily modified version of the ranunculus. I've done some modification. I kind of did this pearl one and slip one with yarn in front on the hems and I've changed it, I've changed the stitch count. I did some modifications, um, but overall very happy with it. Uh, okay, that those so we got the Ripple Bralet, we got the Ranunculus. These two patterns, uh, if you are a beginner knitter or are an experienced or intermediate knitter, doesn't matter, and you are interested in knitting summer garments, I would advise you to start with these two patterns because they're easy, they have something going on if you want something a little bit fancy, I guess. Just check those patterns if you like them, of course. Okay, then we have another pattern that I've knitted twice and I absolutely love that pattern. I've also made a little video where I showed the process of me knitting on this one. This is the Leaf Top by Melanie Reinert. Reinert? Um, absolutely stunning. Absolutely beautiful. I've been using it so much. I've been wearing it so much. I've added the hand some handmade by me um, wooden buttons and this type of lace patterns for me recently have been so rewarding I really like to knit on something that looks a little bit more fancier than just stocking it and it kind of creates I don't know I absolutely love this garment I like the pattern absolutely recommended. This is knitted with a cotton based yarn, Drops Muscat. It's peeling a little bit. It's not my favorite type of fiber, but that's what I used for it. Uh, so this is my favorite version of the lift top. I love the color and the path and the buttons combination of this garment. I, however, I don't love the fabric so much as I do love this. So here, this garment, this garment, I absolutely love it. This is knitted in 100% linen and you can see that, that this fiber is a lot more fibrous and stiff and kind of like it has some integrity compared to this even if this is 100% linen for some reason like the look and the feel of these two even if they're both 100% linen it's just so different I absolutely love this feeling uh, this linen yarn absolutely love it whereas this one not so much so here what I've done, uh, so you knit this pattern in pieces, you knit them, you knit three panels flat and then you sew them together. So you knit the two front panels and then the back panel. What happened is that I knitted the first two front panels and then I finished the yarn that I had, but I had another linen cone same brand, same yarn, but in white. So I knitted the back in white and then I dyed it with avocado peel and onion peel as well. I wear it both ways. Um, that's what I love. Uh, it feels like two garments in one. Absolutely love this. 
absolutely love it. It's thank you myself and the designer for creating this amazing garment. <laughs> I could change, I think I could change the buttons. Um, these are, were gifted to me by my mom and I like them, but I think I would like, I would like this garment better with my own buttons, wooden olive tree wooden buttons. So, but yeah, absolutely love it. Yes. Okay, then we have, this is my, one of my finished objects. I finished it two days ago or three days ago. So <laughs> this is very out of my comfort zone in terms of look and in terms of color. I usually don't wear bright, this super bright kind of almost neon, not really neon, but bright, super bright colors. I like more earthy, dreamy colors. <laughs> Um, but I love this. I love the yarn and the pattern combination and I'm knitting another one. Not with the same yarn though. I was gifted the yarn, one skein of this beautiful yarn. Uh, Ali gifted to me, another fellow friend knitting, knitting podcaster. Um, I mentioned her before, she has a podcast called Ali in Sweatpants and she knits in uh, uh, plant-based fibers, so she has so much knowledge about plant-based fiber knitting and she, we did a little yarn swap kind of and she gave me this beautiful skein of yarn along with many other type of yarns I absolutely love it, yeah, Ali, thank you so much. This is easily one of my favorite type of yarn and pattern combo. Uh, very happy I chose this pattern with this yarn. So I've been talking so much about this and I didn't mention the pattern nor the yarn. So this is little cotton sock yarn and it has bamboo, cotton and elastic in it. So it's kind of stretchy and it was such a pleasure, such a pleasure to knit on it. I absolutely love it and the, it looks quite small and cropped um, to be honest but once you wear it, it kind of stretches you know, because it has all of these also holes and yeah, it's like a fishnet type of um, design. And the pattern name is Look at My Holes by James and Watts. Absolutely love that pattern. I feel that like all of the garments that I've shown you are my favorite, but to be honest, I really like to knit on all of the things that I've I've uh, I've shown you, and I'm knitting another one, but with a here I have it. I'm knitting another one, and I'm using this. This is another amazing skein that uh, that Ali sent me is a cone actually and this is a bamboo based yarn by silk city fibers and the color is the color name is walnut 628 and it's it looks like silk absolutely like it has some sort of shininess to it uh, i think there is quite some yardage here love it I want to knit this pattern in at least another color, like maybe a black color. I think it would be fun. Who am I becoming? But absolutely fun to knit on this. It took me four days. I think it's, it's a fairly quick uh, knit. Maybe it's not the most, you know, 
maybe not everyone likes this style but I think that it depends on the yarn you use and the color um, I would say that the the version I'm knitting now it would be a little bit more calm in the look you know whereas this is very much you know very bright but I think it, it fits me well and I love it I absolutely love it I've been wearing it these days and um, I think it's also nice on top maybe of a bikini at the beach I don't know love it then we have this one flutter butt shirt by Jessie made design I absolutely like this pattern super easy is probably one of the easiest kind of no probably the ripple bralette is easier but it's very easy to knit on this plain stockinette bottom up the ruffle easy to knit on I knitted it with a cotton based yarn and here I played yarn chicken and I used another cotton based yarn but they are pretty similar in the color um, I like it uh, the only thing is the, the yarn like 100% cotton yarns are not so fun anymore for me to knit on um, I don't think they ever been I mean it they're right I mostly love this garment because of the the style and the color but the yarn yeah it's all right it's all right um really like it love this color probably one of my favorite colors love it jesse made design again the designer of the ripple bralette size inclusive amazing super clear design then we have talking about ruffles this is ruffles, this is ruffles as well. Just okay. This is another little bralette. This I designed it kind of like I just, you know, went for it. I cast it on, I think, 144, 144 stitches, and I knitted it bottom up. And then I picked up stitches, I increased every two stitches, one stitch, and I knitted this ruffle. Um, I've shown this garment before and I've, I thought I finished the main color yarn. I knitted the ruffle in white, but I didn't actually like it so much, so I ripped it back and uh, I actually found another skein of this main collar deep in buried in my stash so the past few days I've ripped it back and knitted the ruffle again absolutely love it very simple design though like my home <laughs> I think there are similar designs I love it I wore it before and I wear it. I love the color. Uh, however, it's the same yarn in another color as this garment. So it's 100% cotton yarn. Um, simple cotton yarn. Um, I wish I knitted it in linen. Maybe I would, I will in the future knit another one in linen. We'll see. Okay last three garments and then we're done i'm feeling a little bit tired uh, so anchor summer tea anchor summer shirt by petit knit i want to knit another one of this um, because this um, i don't particularly like it i think it's all right it's nice but uh, it has many mistakes or at least it's, they are not really mistakes, it's more like the tension changed. My tension changed throughout the garment. So, I don't know if you can see, but it's like, 
and I blocked it, I tried different things. Um, and I don't know, it's not so much about the mistakes, it's like, it's kind of bulky, it looks a bit bulky on me, but nothing bad. I mean, I, I still wear it quite a lot because I love the color. I just would like to knit it with a more silky type of fiber, like probably like this one that I showed you. Something like this, I think would be really nice. The Anchor Summer shirt, I think is, is quite an easy pattern. Very easy, I would say. Um, it's knitted uh, top down and it has this very nice, very simple ribbed um, yoke. And I like it, super recommended. I mean, petite knit, petite knit patterns are so famous. Like every knitter probably that I know or I've seen has knitted one of petite knit garments. So second to last, Garment, Cloudberry Tea by Fiber Tails. I've made an entire video about this garment, so since I'm a bit tired, <laughs> you can go and check that video if you're interested in that, in this uh, pattern and garment. Uh, it's absolutely a beautiful, beautiful pattern. I think fun construction, very interesting construction, knitted top down flat and then you join things like it's nice it's interesting and it has this kind of color work little color work with these little bubbles and the yarn i've used is a bamboo it's the bamboo rainbow bamboo yarn it's a cotton and bamboo blend it's peeling don't know if you can see it um but I like it, it's super drapey, super nice and drapey. Like it, love it. Yes, and you can check more details about this pattern on my, I'll link it. It's a, an entire video dedicated to this garment, a kind of like a vlog where I show you the journey of me knitting this garment. So last garment that I'm gonna show you and I'll also put on the screen the giveaway winners because this is the um, Brise top by Pia Trans, who's the amazing designer who designed this beautiful, beautiful, fancy yoke, very dreamy look garment. Um, she was so kind. She gifted to We Grow Wild podcast. Uh, two of our patterns. One is this one and another one is the crossover top. So the winners of the giveaway will have both patterns. Um, I would say it's uh, at the, it can be a little bit intimidating. Let me just show you the yoke while I talk. So this yoke can look a little bit intimidating, but actually if you just follow step by step the chart, it's uh, easier than uh, it looks. And uh, I love these bubbles. You can also skip them if you don't like to knit bubbles. And I've done a little modification. I did a one by one rib ribbed hem and then I finished with a an eye cord also on the sleeves. I don't know, I thought it was quite cute. And I've knitted this um, garment uh, with a cotton based uh, yarn, uh, Giza by Borgo de Pazzi, Egyptian cotton. This feels super soft compared to these two cotton yarns, uh, this feels very soft and drapey. I really like it. Uh, it's still a cotton yarn though, you know, it peels and, but it's all right. I really like it and I think it looks really, it, it looks really flattering this pattern, I think. Um, 
so I really hope that those who those who won the giveaway will knit on this top and will tell me how they like it and I hope that you could also try it even if you didn't win the giveaway you can also try it and knit on this and support uh, Pia who is an amazing designer so very happy with this garment uh, I felt really like accomplished and proud of myself after knitting it because it looks quite difficult, you know. Uh, I'm exhausted. <laughs> I need to eat something. Um, it was really nice to show you all of these summer tops. You can style them in so many different ways. I thought I would do a video where I show you the fit of every garment and like but it's such a long video then and like I could still film me wearing this and just add it on the video but um your girl is lazy today so <laughs> I hope you really enjoyed this um little video I hope it gave you a little bit of inspiration and if not it entertained you and yes I please do let me know if you like or if you've knitted any of these patterns if you which pattern you would like to knit next and there are many many other amazing summer and kind of like warm weather type of garments that I've that I have on my queue but these are the ones that I've knitted so far and yes that's that's it and thank you so very much for joining me today I hope you enjoyed this and see you next time and congratulations for to the giveaway winners please contact me if you want your beautiful patterns and uh, see you next time stay wild <laughs>